Welcome to the first of our hands-on labs. The purpose of these is to help in your preparation for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam. These exercises will assist in continuing to teach, providing hands-on experience, and reinforcing knowledge you already have. The format of these labs may be different than what you've experienced in the past. That's primarily because these will not include step-by-step -step instructions, but rather a list of tasks that you need to complete. There will be some guidance, but it will be mostly up to you to figure out how to complete the tasks successfully. If you need assistance, I first recommend looking through the documentation. It can help you with the processes you need to follow and provide you with additional information around the topic. If you still feel stuck, there will be a walkthrough of the exercise that shows one of the methods that can be used to complete the tasks. I highly recommend watching the walkthrough, even if you feel comfortable with your solutions for the labs, as they may show some other methods you could use and will provide additional information to help in your continued study. For this first exercise, your scenario involves familiarity with how AWS services integrate with each other. The lab will have you create an architecture with an AWS Lambda function that inserts a test item into an Amazon DynamoDB table and uploads a test object to an Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket. The function will also use an AWS Identity and Access Management role for credentials. Your ultimate goal will be to ensure the bucket, table, and function are configured correctly to all work together. Again, if you need assistance, make use of the documentation. It will provide much more information than using the walkthrough alone. Good luck, and I'll see you later.